Good Tuesday morning. Well, it is Super Tuesday, and voters in Tennessee and Virginia head to the polls today for primary elections. Tennesseans will choose from four candidates, Mitt Romney, Newt Gingrich, Ron Paul, and Rick Santorum. But in Virginia, Mitt Romney and Ron Paul are the only ones on the ballot. This is because Santorum and Gingrich failed to get their names on the ballot in time. Meanwhile, Gingrich made a stopover in Kingsport yesterday, says he's thankful for all the support from the volunteer state. Uh, the last poll here that came out this morning shows that we're either tied or slightly ahead, so we're very excited about what's happening here in Tennessee. Gingrich told the crowd this is the most important election in our lifetime. He believes in a brighter future for America. There is a dramatically better American future that is possible if we get our act together, if we do the right things. Our children and our grandchildren can live in a more dynamic, more exciting, and more powerful country. Gingrich is confident that he will do well during Super Tuesday, which involves 410 delegates, which are up for grabs in 10 states, including Tennessee, Virginia, and his home state of Georgia. Bristol, Tennessee man has been arrested for soliciting a minor. 21-year-old Christopher Keith Carrier is charged with contributing to the delinquency of a minor, eight counts of solicitation of statutory rape, and soliciting sexual exploitation of a minor by electronic means. Leslie Earhart is with the Sullivan County Sheriff's Office. This case involves a 14-year-old victim, and back in January, Christopher Keith Carrier was indicted. Now, he wasn't arrested until last week due to the fact that he had been deployed in Afghanistan at the time of the indictment. Carrier is free after posting a $30,000 bond. A court date is pending. Two-vehicle crash in Sullivan County has claimed the life of a Kingsport woman and left two others injured. According to the Tennessee Highway Patrol, a car being driven by 51-year-old Lavanya Boyd on Memorial Boulevard ran off the right side of the roadway Sunday, struck another vehicle head-on that was being driven by 40-year-old Donna Mendenhall. Mendenhall died as a result of injuries sustained in that crash. Her passenger, 47-year-old Scott Mendenhall and Boyd, remain hospitalized. Charges are pending as that investigation continues. Bristol, Tennessee man sentenced to death for killing a police officer in 2004 has had his request to have his conviction overturned. That uh, conviction denied. The Tennessee Court of Criminal Appeals handed down the decision this week in the case of Nicholas Johnson. In the appeal, Johnson's attorney claimed that several problems were conducted during the original trial. He was given the death penalty after gunning down Officer Mark Vance during a domestic violence call in November 2004. The fate of a Jonesboro couple who are facing multiple counts of aggravated child neglect has been delayed. Judge Robert Cup delayed closing arguments and jury deliberations yesterday in the trial of Robert Simmons and Mary Tittle. The problem is in the legal wording of the indictments against them. Several changes in state law have led to some confusion about what lesser crimes they could be convicted of. Meanwhile, the prosecution's final witness, Brenda Jordan, now the foster mother of the five children, recalls her first impression of the children's physical appearances. They're just real rusty looking, a lot of dirt between their toes and their, on their feet, their hands, their fingernails were real dirty. They had head lice in their hair. In their hair. Uh, it took several treatments to get the head lice out. If the judge and attorneys don't resolve the issue soon, that case could head to the Criminal Court of Appeals before even going to the jury. I'm Dwayne Nelson. Have yourself a great Tuesday. And vote.